Hi, this is Mobile Video Editing. In this episode, we'll take a look at the overlay blend mode in LumaFusion. Then, I'll show you how to create the effect that was shown at the beginning of this video, putting into practice the principles you will learn during this episode. Blend modes were added in LumaFusion 2.1 and can be found by editing a clip and then tapping on the Frame and Fit tab and selecting the Blending section. Overlay is one of the most popular blend modes and it is part of the contrast group of blend modes. It uses a formula that is a combination of the multiply and screen blend modes. At its basic implementation, overlaying an image with itself will increase the contrast of the image. Light pixels in the base layer will make pixels in the blend layer lighter. Dark pixels in the base layer will make pixels in the blend layer darker. Midtones, on the other hand, will have no effect. Applying different overlays, it is possible to selectively increase the contrast in just parts of the image. One of the most important things to remember about the overlay blend mode is that it affects the results favoring the values of the base layer. Let's see that favoritism in action. For this example, we'll use two images. The first image is a template containing a dark stripe, a light stripe, a black rectangle and a white rectangle. The background color is a mid-tone exactly in the middle between black and white. The second image is a gradient. When using the template image as the blend layer and the gradient as the base layer, the result looks like this. Notice how the black square darkens the image and the white square lightens the image, but they didn't become black and white respectively. Instead, they affected the original colors of the gradient. This is because the overlay blend mode favored the base layer, in this case, the gradient. Can you guess what would happen if we flip the layers around so the gradient is the blend layer and the template is the base layer? This is how the result looks like. The base layer containing the template is now favored. The tones in the result are more emphasized and the black and white colors of the rectangles are preserved. Here's a comparison between the two results. One of the most popular uses of this mode is to blend patterns or texture with a video or image. Let's apply this texture to the gradient we used earlier. The question is, when blending texture with an image or video using the overlay blend mode, what would work better? The texture as the blend layer and the image as the base layer or the other way around? The answer, as with most questions related to blend modes, is that you have to try and see what works for you. It depends on your taste and needs. This is the result of using the texture as the blend layer and the gradient as the base layer. This is the option that I prefer. This is the result for the other way around. The gradient is used as the blend layer and the texture is the base. Here is another example, this time blending TV noise with the gradient. Now, let's take a look at the example shown at the beginning of this video, with the face appearing in the water. We start in LumaFusion with two videos already placed in the timeline. A video of a waterfall and a video with a face. For the video with the face, I used an emoji, but you can use a real face instead. It is important for the head to be still as much as possible to help with the next step, cropping. Edit the video containing the face. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab and select the cropping section. Crop the video so only the face is shown. Use round corners and a bit of edge softness to ease the transition between the face and the background. Now tap on the Colors and Effects tab and add the original color preset. Lower the brightness, increase the contrast, and decrease the saturation to get a grayscale image. Add the Gaussian effect and blur the face by setting the radius to about 9. 
exit to the timeline. This is how the phase looks like now. The goal is to show the face as if it was made of water. This means that the waterfall is the image that you want to be favored and based on what we've learned so far, it should be the base layer. This also means that the grayscale face is the pattern that will be used as a blend overlay on top of the water. Place the video of the face just above the video of the waterfall. Edit the video again. Tap on frame and fit and scroll down to the blending section. Select the overlay blend mode. Change the size, rotation and position of the face so it is located where the waterfall is. Tap on the colors and effects tab. Select the existing original preset and adjust the highlights and shadows as well as the levels to enhance the effect. To fine-tune the results, you can adjust the opacity setting in the blending section under frame and fit. This is how it looks like so far. Now let's add some final touches. Tap on the speed and reverse tab and decrease the speed to 0.85x. The slight slow motion will look better with the flowing water. This will also lower the pitch of the voice but let's lower it a bit more. Tap on the audio tab. Select the pitch audio effect and slightly lower the pitch. Make sure you can still understand the words being said. Exit the editing screen. Add across the soft transition at the beginning and the end of the video with the face to enhance the effect of it forming in the water and later dissipating. After adding some sound effects, this is how the final result will look like. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.